Also today, the Drive at Home campaign is promoting True Blue Friday. People are being asked to wear blue in support of the General Motors Lordstown plant. You see a lot of us wearing it. We'll get to some pictures in a minute, but first, 27 First News anchor Stan Boney has found that last Chevy Cruze. We've been showing you the pictures of it all week. Let's go live to Stan. Dressed in his General Motors blue. Well, I'm standing tonight in the showroom of Sweeney Chevrolet along Market Street in Boardman, and we did find the last Chevy Cruze that rolled off the line earlier this week. We were watching pictures of it as it moved down the assembly line, people writing different things on it, posing with it. And tonight we can show you the last car. It is here in the showroom at Sweeney Chevrolet. It was brought from the Lordstown plant at about 3 o'clock this afternoon. Uh, they had it in the back, they cleaned it up, they detailed it, and it is now on display play here at the Sweeney showroom. People that want to take a look at it certainly can come and take and see it. Joining me now are the two people involved here at Sweeney Chevrolet. This is Alexa Sweeney and also the general manager Bobby Stackhouse. Alexa, fun, isn't it, to have this sitting in your showroom right now? It is. It's also a little, a little sentimental. You know, we, we're so proud to have it here. We're so proud that we can make it stay in the valley and it's a little piece of our history. When you first saw it, did you go, wow? Yes, you do. That's true. Yes. And we've got pictures all week long from our our friends at the plant, photos of them signing it and, and little notes that they left inside. And so to have it here on the showroom is pretty special. Bobby, how did it end up here? How did you pull this one off? Well, I got a phone call from a good customer of ours and a good friend of ours that uh, was interested in purchasing it. It was actually on its way down to Miami. So with some phone calls, some texts, some emails to, to our uh, our district manager at General Motors and our zone manager, we were able to figure out the logistics and kind of cut it off at the head and uh, bring it back here and make sure that it stayed in the valley. So we're excited about it. Can you tell us yet who it is? I cannot. Okay. I cannot, unfortunately. Is it a local person and do they plan to keep it local? Yes. Yes and yes. Yes, it is a local person. They do plan to keep it local. So we're pleased about that, of course. All right. We're going to take a look a little bit of what's happening at the car. One thing we want to show you is what's in the trunk. Uh, in the trunk, if you've, if you've noticed all week long, all of the signs that were put up and held up, they are in the trunk of the car. So who, it was delivered this way. So whoever buys this car, when they get the car, the signs are going to go with it. Uh, Sweeney Chevrolet will be open until 6 o'clock tonight. They'll be open tomorrow as well. We asked if it would be ready to take in the St. Patrick's Day Parade on Sunday, and I was told that is not going to happen, that it's going to stay here at the dealership. So if you want to see it, show up and take a look at it. The last Chevy Cruze that rolled off the line earlier this week, now on display here at Sweeney Chevrolet in Boardman. Live in Boardman, Stan Boney, WKBN 27 First News.